Happy New Year everybody, it is now 2019, I hope you guys had a good year, I hope you guys had a good Christmas, I hope you enjoyed it with friends and family, and you know what, 2018 has been a pretty good year, it's probably been, well it's definitely been the most important year of my YouTube career, went from like, I don't know, 50 subs, something like that, I remember when I was like, 66 sub, subs, stuff like that, and here we are, 1,300 subs nearly. So, travel back to the beginning of 2018. In fact, this is just the end of 2017. It's around Christmas time. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty down bored, and I really wanted to do something. I really wanted to make YouTube work, because bear in mind, back then, I was doing YouTube, but I wasn't really taking it seriously. I'd just occasionally do, like, Plants vs. Zombies live stream or something like that. So I wasn't really taking it very seriously. Having said that, I'm not particularly taking it seriously, super seriously now, like, I'm still studying at school, etc. But I'm taking it definitely pretty seriously, it's become a hugely significant part of my life. Uh, but yeah, at the beginning of the year, I set myself some goals for YouTube, so that I could sort of motivate myself and have something, aim for it, and go get it. So, I set myself a goal to hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, and basically reach monetization, because that's like, the first major milestone is, you know, reaching monetization. At monetization, YouTube's like, oh, you know, it's a good channel, you know, it's a decent channel, let's put ads on it, it's a good channel, that channel. So, 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time. Now, when I first started YouTube, when they introduced it, it had to be 10,000 views. So, at the beginning of the year, it had to be 10,000 views. Which now, we've destroyed that like four times, five times over or something like that. So that would have been much easier. We could have done that back in the summer holidays or even before that. But anyway, you know, they changed it. And now it's a thousand subscribers and monetization. Which, as you guys I'm sure know, we hit that. 1,000 subscribers and monetization. In fact, we smashed through that with an extra quarter of our goal reaching over 1,250 subscribers. So I just want to say thank you to each and every person who subscribed to the channel this year. I really do appreciate your support and welcome to anyone who's from 2019. If you are new here, smash that subscribe button because 2019 is coming and I'm setting some new goals for 2019 because I like having goals and something to reach towards and I can also like track my progress and whether I need to work harder etc so I want to hit 100,000 subscribers in 2020 which is in two years from now and so my goal for the end of 2019 is to hit 10,000 subscribers see 1,000 is like the first it's not major milestone it's like a first milestone and then you've got the first major milestone is obviously 100,000 subscribers because that's when YouTube sends you the silver play button. It's the first major milestone. Uh, but 10,000 subscribers are going to be the next milestone I'm going to set myself. That's going to be the next goal. I think it is possible for me to get 100,000 by the end of the year. There's people who have got a million, 10 million in a year. So it's very possible for me to get 100,000 in a year. But considering I'm studying A-levels and I've got a lot of going on right now, it's going to be difficult. So I'm setting myself a minimum of 10,000. I would absolutely love to hit 100,000 and I'm going to try and work hard. And we'll see how things go. And if I think it's possible, then I may go for 100,000. So keep an eye out to see if that ends up becoming the new goal. But yeah, 10,000 subscribers, I'm setting that as a minimum. And then the year after that, 100,000 on YouTube. If you guys are new here, smash that subscribe button. Let's reach this goal. Also, I don't know if you guys know, a lot of my current fans will already know, I am doing quite well on Instagram. I f so, back, take, rewind back to late 2017 when I wanted to take things seriously. I made an Instagram account for my YouTube, because, you know, all the other YouTubers had Instagram accounts, so I was like, they're doing it, it must be a good idea. So I did it as well. And then I started to realise, actually, Instagram's its own platform. It's just like YouTube, I can grow on Instagram. And so I did. And actually, I got very good at growing on Instagram. It was way easier to grow on Instagram than it was on YouTube. I wasn't putting in that much time in it compared to YouTube. I'd literally spend, like, probably 40 hours a week, which is the 9 to 5, 5 days a week, on YouTube. I spent so much time on YouTube. Barely any time on Instagram. And on Instagram, on my Fortnite underscore Mark Sharky, which is, like, my Fortnite page, 
that that was the originally the YouTube page, and then I just turned it into Fortnite page because I was just posting Fortnite stuff on there. That caught that's now twenty five thousand followers. It hasn't grown for a while because some stuff was happening with it. If you guys are fans of the channel, you'll know what was going on with that. Uh, but yeah, and then also I have my personal account and all sorts of other things. So I'm not exactly sure what the total of all my followers now is, but it's probably somewhere in the region between thirty thousand and fifty thousand followers. So my goal for next year is to smash 100,000 followers. I think that's going to be quite easy to get a total of 100,000 followers on all my accounts. So actually what I'm going to do is set account individual goals. So for Fortnite underscore Mark Sharky, which is like my Fortnite meme sort of account, I'm going to try and take that to 100,000 followers by the end of the next year. For my personal account, which is at Mark Rosal, if you haven't already followed me, go follow me over there. I am going to try and hit 10,000 followers on that by the end of next year, and if we get more, hey, even better. On at MarkySharky10, that's that's now my YouTube account. That's MarkySharky10, it's sort of like, that's my YouTube account. In fact, I may change the name of it to MarkySharkyYT, I think that's more suited, obviously, because it's my YouTube account. But that's going to be like my gaming side of my YouTube account. So that's Mark Sharky 10 or soon to be Mark Sharky YT or something. I don't know. I'll leave it in the description below. Uh, that's sort of my YouTube account for gaming. So like Mark Sharky is my gaming channel. That's my gaming Instagram. So it'll have all sorts of gaming stuff, but it will be gaming stuff from this channel and only stuff from this channel. And Mark Sam obviously will be a bit like a vlogging channel, but on Instagram sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and get 10,000 on Mark Shark 10 or Mark Sharky YT or whatever uh, and so yeah and then I do also have a couple of other Instagram accounts but I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them I haven't got a clear vision for what I'm gonna do with them so I'm gonna go through the year and see what happens and I'll decide my goals as I go along the way along the path also as you guys know I do have the vlogging channel which is called Mark or Sam where I do vlogs and other sorts of videos I really want to take vlogging to the next level because I like gaming but I like real life as well. Real life is pretty damn good. The graphics are stunning in real life. So, <laughs> if you guys haven't already, go subscribe to my vlogging channel. I'm going to be trying to upload on there a lot more than I do right now. So, go subscribe to that. My goal for that is to get it to hopefully 10,000 subscribers as well. That is my goal with that channel as well. And I'm sort of going to run them simultaneously and hopefully they'll grow together. Uh, so yeah, that's that. So that's all my goals, but how am I going to get there? I'm now going to try to do weekly uploads. Now I know I won't be able to dive straight into weekly uploads because it is not an easy thing, especially with what I'm doing. But I'm going to try and build my way up to weekly uploads. The summer holidays, last year I said, oh, I'm going to do so much in the summer holidays. And I just spent the whole summer live streaming. I'm not going to let myself do that this summer holiday. I'm going to do a lot of videos. And actually, that segues really well into my next point, which is going to be live streams down, videos up. And this is an example of that. This is a video. And I think I find it hard to do videos because of editing and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just editing. I just hate editing so much. When I get big, as soon as I start making money from YouTube, one of the first investments I'm going to make is I'm going to hire an editor because I absolutely hate editing so much. Uh, but yeah, editing, that's that's my nemesis by far. So I'm going to try and build up to weekly uploads in terms of that. I'm also going to create channel trailers for both this channel and my vlogging channel. The vlogging channel one's probably coming out first, and then this one, or if I get some good clips. I need clips for the gaming channel, so we're going to hit them on stream, and hopefully that's going to turn into part of the channel trailer. And also I'm going to sort of modify the channel trailers, turn them into like one minute ads, and try and get, I'm basically going to buy ads on Instagram uh, to try and get a bit of recognition on YouTube, maybe. We'll see how that goes. Because I have an Instagram audience, so what I can do is this thing called shout out for shout out. I shout someone else out on my page and they'll shout me out on their page. Uh, so when they shout me out, instead of them shouting out on my Instagram, I'll get them to shout out YouTube and boom. So that should, that should be quite good. Now, in terms of Marky Sharky, this gaming channel, we've been playing nothing but Fortnite this year. I mean, Fortnite really has been the core solid focus of this year. Uh, and 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit bored of Fortnite at the moment. I feel like, A, I switched from console to PC, which I'm still happy I did that. I'm still very happy I did that. But I feel like that's just made things a little bit, you know... All my skill is gone, basically. And I've spent a while trying to build that back up. I've been on PC for a couple of months now, but obviously I've been studying with A-levels and stuff. I haven't had a huge amount of time to be gaming like I was in the summer. Uh, I should have bought my gaming PC way back before. It just took me ages to decide which one I wanted, and by the time I did, and it, by the time it came, it was too late. But anyway, so yeah, that is that. Um, so now I want to try and go into new games. So I would like you guys to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what game you want me to start playing. Um, GTA is a strong contender right now. Uh, I love GTA. It's possibly my favorite game of all time. I spent... wait one second. So I have a total time played of 46 days, 19 hours, 29 minutes and 19 seconds on GTA Online. And GTA Story Mode I haven't played as much, but that's still an extra day, 13 hours, and 23 minutes on GTA Story Mode. And yeah, that's a lot of time, obviously. 46 days is over a month and a half of non-stop, no sleeping, just playing GTA all day, every day, for a month and a half. That's a lot of game time. I love this game. GTA is so good. So yeah, you can see why GTA is a strong contender on the list. I love GTA. I can do videos like how to make money on GTA and just funny moments, and I think that could be a really good game. Black Ops, I'm also thinking about. Black Ops is a pretty strong contender. So if you guys are interested in Black Ops, then let me know about Black Ops. And if you've got any other good ideas for games, I've heard Red Dead Redemption 2. I haven't played that, but I've heard it's meant to be good. And so if you guys really want to see that, then I'll buy the game and possibly do that. So yeah, let me know what game you want me to start doing which isn't Fortnite, but I will carry on doing Fortnite since I've built a community around Fortnite, and so I'm going to keep that on my channel, so don't worry, if you like Fortnite, that's fine. And speaking of Fortnite, the V-Bucks giveaway. So, the winner is going to be picked in this video, right here, right now. Okay, so here we are, the V-Bucks giveaway by Marky Sharky. So, just so you guys know, this is fair and square, this thing randomly generates one of the people uh, based on one of the entries. So it's basically you've got a one or however many entries out of 3,557 entries chance. So, are you ready guys? Here we go. One prize left. Draw the winners in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> In three, two, one, and it is Elijah Shanti Prakash. So basically, you have one week to contact me by email, uh, so that I know it's you. Use the email that you linked when you entered the giveaway, and basically tell me how you want to receive your prize. So, do you want an Xbox gift card, a PlayStation gift card, do you want to PayPal it to you? So yeah, tell me how you want to receive your prize, and then basically I will give it to you, and if there's anything else which we need to discuss, we can discuss that through email. And if in one week, from this video going live, if in one week, you guys, uh, if in one week from this video, you have not uh, contacted me, then I will re-roll it in the next video, and then we will basically have a new winner so if you didn't win this time stay tuned because in the next video i don't seem to remember elijah from the channel so honestly i have a feeling this is going to go over to a reroll and if it does go over to a reroll there we go your chance is still in so before we end this video i just want to say you now know my goals for 2019 and I'm going to do everything I can to reach them. But there is something you guys can do to reach them. Every time I post a new video, if you like the video, if you comment on the video, and if you watch the whole thing at, so that I get the maximum watch time for that video and the maximum audience retention, then YouTube's like, ooh, that's a good video. And that increases the chances of it going on someone else's recommended or suggested. And then that will happen more and more and more until the video goes viral and all the videos start going viral. And that is how... You grow on YouTube. 
So, if you guys really do want to support me, one of the best things you can do is just like a new video, comment on a new video, and just watch the whole thing when it comes out. And don't like skip parts, just watch the whole thing when it comes out. That really does support me so much. It is one of the best ways you can support me, and it is 100% free for you. It just takes about 10-20 minutes, however long the video happens to be. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Leave a comment letting me know what you thought. And what I want you guys to tell me what your goals are for 2019. Because I think it's important to have goals. It helps us to move on in life and get better. So, let me know what your goals are for 2019 in the comments down below. And smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in 2019. Whoosh! What's holding you down? I am.